Hello guys, welcome back to Faith Ministries channel. My name is Alex, if you are new here, if you're coming back, then uh, welcome back. Um, tonight, if y'all don't know, it's really 6.30, I think, in, in the evening. But if y'all realize, the time changed. Yeah. Um, yeah, the time changed, and it gets darker at 6.30. Um, tonight... Uh, I'm going to bring you some updates, um, on this, uh, thing, um, I'm going to share with you, uh, something that, uh, Billy Graham said on, uh, Facebook before he passed away. Okay. As y'all know, Billy Graham, one of the best all-time evangelists I believe they've ever lived, he said this. He was he said that Habakkuk was talking to the Lord, and he said, and Habakkuk said, "Lord, show me what you're doing." And the Lord said, "Uh, the Lord said, Habakkuk, if I, uh, I'm not going to do that, Habakkuk." And he said, "Because if I told you what I was doing in the world, in the world, you wouldn't believe me." Listen here, folks. I gotta make a point clear to y'all. If God was telling the people today what he were doing, we wouldn't believe him. If y'all think that God has left the throne and God has done this, he hasn't. Jesus is still on the throne. Jesus is still the king. No matter who's president in the White House. Okay? If it's Biden or Trump, nobody can it replace the idea that Jesus is still on the throne? Jesus is in control. They could try to kick Jesus out of this world, this United States, but he will not leave his throne. That's one thing I wanted to say to y'all. Next thing is, is this. A Romans 8.28 says that do not be anxious. Let me just read that to you right now. Because... Okay, my bad. Let me read it again. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who has been called according to his purpose. For those God has for, for new, uh, he also predestines to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be firstborn among many brothers, and sisters. Now, let me go back to Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good. Okay. Let me just tell you this. I know we're in a struggle time right now with the coronavirus, with the election. But let me tell you this. God works for the good. And it says, for God for in that all things God works for the good, and those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. You see, we as children of God, we as believers in Christ, our Savior, we, God works for the good, and we who love him is according to his purpose. You see, we have a reason for being here, and no matter if Biden wins presidency or Trump wins this, this, and this, let me tell you, Whoever's president, no matter. All that matters is that Jesus is still king of all life. The Biden campaign, the Trump campaign, whoever wins presidency. Sure, they win presidency. Whoever wins, get over it, okay? It don't matter. All that matters is that we still have a king more powerful than this president. Or our president. Or whatever president is in office. Whoever is in office, we got a king more powerful than that. A king that knows how many stars are in the sky and counts them by name. A king that says that he works for the good in all things. And those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. And those who are predestined, he also called those who call those who he called. He also glorifies those he glorifies, he also glorifies. Or, he also justifies, my bad. 
He also justifies us, and he justifies, he's also glorified. Okay? So, I just want to let y'all know something. We're going through a time right now. We're going through a time of quarantine. Uh, we're going through just a season. And during that season is when we need to really dig in, really pray, and really ask God about this works. Okay? Now, whoever's president, I just want to say this for a reason. Whether it's Trump or Biden, we just got to remember one thing here. God works for all things that God works for all things. God works for the good. So if Biden gets in there, who Trump gets in there, we all know that God works for the good and everything. The Bible says to be to not be anxious, but in everything, prayer and thanksgiving unto God. So whatever it is today, whatever your season of struggles are right now. Let's just say, whatever struggles we are right now, God works better for the better. And God works for the good. He doesn't work for the weakness or this, this, and this. However, we are weak, but we got a king who is strong and mighty for. We got a king that is loving. A king that would do anything in his will to help out with anything he can. But... With this presidency, I just want to tell you this right now. Whoever is in office, whoever's winning the office in presidency, God knew it was going to happen before it happened, okay? I just want to say that for the record. And uh, I just want to say that. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all I got. But thanks for watching. Faith Ministries, I hope that this, that God works for eight, Romans 8.28 will help out a lot of all. So, thanks for watching. Um, I know this is a short video. It's not usually my long 20, 30 minute videos, but this is something we need to talk about. And I know it's short, but God, God knows why. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and share with everybody you know.